Hey, you cool babies. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to figure out density problems because I'm not going to be here today when you see this. So first off, density is what we call a special property of a substance because we can use it to identify the substance. For example, no matter what amount of a substance you have, it will always have the same density. So for example, one pound of gold has the same density as 500 pounds of gold. And one milliliter of water has the same density as 20 liters of water. So no matter what, the density of a substance stays the same. So to figure out density, density is how much matter is in a certain space. We use a formula and to figure out the formula first, let's define the terms. So you have mass, and mass, as you'll recall, is the amount of stuff an object has, the amount of matter it has. V is for volume, which is the amount of space that an object takes up, and D is for density or how much stuff is in a certain amount of space all right so the formula that we use for this to figure out density is density or d equals mass over v volume d equals m over v density is mass divided by volume so let's go ahead and do an example of this we have a Let's say, and I, I don't care. Let's say we have, it's a good example for this. We have a piece of wood. And its mass is 98 grams. And its volume is 100 milliliters. So what we're going to do is set this up. We have density of the wood. And it's going to equal 98 grams divided by 100 milliliters. And you do some quick mental math, or you use a calculator, and you discover that the density of the piece of wood is 0 0.98 grams per milliliter. All right. Now, we can use this equation to figure out the mass or the volume if we're given the density or and the mass or the density and the volume. So real quick, let's go ahead and do a couple of those. If you are given density and volume, you can find the mass. So the mass will equal the density times the volume. So if we work backwards from that last problem, we'll see that the mass equals 0 0.98 grams per milliliter times 100 milliliters. And that still gives us the same thing with the mass being 98 grams. You'll see that the milliliters will cancel themselves out. And if we are given the density and mass, we can find the volume. So volume equals mass divided by density. And if we use the same piece of wood as before, we'll find that volume equals, what was it, 98 grams 
divided by 0 0.98 grams per milliliter. The grams cancel out. My chalk cancels out as well. And do your math again, and that's going to give you 100 milliliters. So that is going to help you with your work for today. If you have any questions, watch this video again. And then if you have any questions, watch the video again. If you have any questions, watch the video again. And talk to your classmates, talk to your peers. Don't copy. Don't copy. But ask for help. Because some of your classmates might know how to do this and be able to explain it in a way that you'll understand better than I will. We will pick up with Character Development Fridays next Tuesday. On Tuesday, we'll go ahead and do that so we get the most chemistry time we can. So, have a good weekend and density. Density.